I realize this ship scene has nothing to do with this episode, but let's just enjoy what it does represent. A summer day, warm water, and sunshine. In other words, my happy place. On Saturday, I tried to get one more ride in, in unbeknownst, and even got to the point of readying the boat. Suddenly, though, the promised wind showed up in the late morning. It quickly became whitecaps. Combined with the really low water situation, I decided to tackle a nagging problem instead. None of the previous bows I created from white oak succeeded in stopping the water from pooling and gathering in the cover above the rear cockpit. The weight of the water has ripped the canvas and pulled snaps loose from the cover. It really wasn't working. It was time to get serious with this issue. My earliest memory is riding in my grandfather's boat, arm over the side, hand in the spray. I've spent much of the rest of my life chasing this feeling. All of that has led to this. The wooden boat experience. The sharp bend is here at three and a quarter inches and then every six inches we have a little tiny bend that eventually makes the arc lining up with that arc there on the board. This joint here is a little tighter than maybe it should be and when I pounded this piece onto the rod, so this is rod and this is tubing, I mushroom this just a tiny bit right here. So I'm gonna cut a little bit off here with a hacksaw and then we'll clean it up and then we'll add it on to that piece over there and make one because this, this six feet isn't quite wide enough. I think it's gonna work, Spec. Hopefully I'm gonna make one more. Well, I'm definitely gonna make one more, but hopefully it's going to solve the problem of the water collecting back in here with these two aluminum bows and they won't be in the way of the doors opening like the other ones were and they won't be fragile like the other ones were. Those are solid stainless steel holders with a nice, I believe it's nylon plastic insert, solid half inch aluminum rod. It, it wasn't long enough because all I could get was six footers. But I've got a coupler here with extruded aluminum tubing. That should be good. I make one more to put it right about there, and that should solve the problem, I hope. So what I'm doing here is making a patch to cover up this spot where the snap came out. So I want to hem all the way around because otherwise the canvas will just unravel after a while. So I need to sew this, then I'll sew it onto here. <clears throat> Start out by going forward, reversing a little to keep the thread from unraveling later on. Go to the other end, reverse again. Now we're going to wrap this patch around here, and this is where the, the snap was that ripped the tore out. So when we do this, not only are we, are we fixing the hole, but we're really strengthening in this area. And you can see I've already done it here. It goes on the inside and in this spot as well. Now, because I'm continuing on with the same stitch I don't need to reverse there this is pretty thick there's a lot of layers here so I got to go slower because the canvas is so big I couldn't turn it again so I got to start again on the other side I 
I'm driving the needle down through so I can pivot the canvas on the needle so it doesn't move out of position. And there we have the area patched. Well, I've got a couple of spots to fix. Where the um, vents are, have rubbed through, you can see there's a hole there, so I'm gonna make four um, little square rectangular pieces as extra rubbing area there. I'll make them double thick. They go there in the middle, two on the back. There's a tiny hole in the middle, and one of the snaps I can't get on is the, uh, the guide. So I'll go fix the cover right now, bring it back, put it on, and then We'll be done with this. I think the bows are really good. You can see the extra gussets I made here. This one I got to sew down a little bit better, but I've got those on pretty much all the snaps. I think these aluminum bows are going to work really well. I actually put a couple of snaps down there to pull this a little bit tighter. When it sits at Hobie's, it will actually be on um, whips. So this will be open. I don't mind a little bit of water in the boat. I just got to keep mostly the sun off. But it's looking a lot better. And it was nice to have that year to see what the um, problems were. Here you can see how that's starting to rub through. And that one is actually ripped over there. There's a little tiny hole right up there somewhere too. I'll fix that as well. Well, it tightened up pretty good with a little bit of rain. It's weird how a canvas this old will still shrink and then stretch depending on the sun or the moisture. You can see where that oil is soaked into it, how well it beads up. I have got to waterproof this. Gary told me about some waterproofing I've got to get for this. So it looks like it turned out pretty good. The black engine you saw on the trailer earlier in the video is a running 305 cubic inch small block Chevy that Gary and I bought from Jay to have for a spare. Hopefully we won't need it. It'll just be in storage. We spent a lot of time moving trailers around this summer and trying to get things organized and I think now you can see that it is a lot better, but back then it was a mess. And sometimes people went boating without me. Don't hit the century! <laughs> hey, I got my priorities right. See you guys later. Have fun. Originally, Gary and I bought this 1966 25 foot Lyman together, but he was nice enough to sell me his half. Once I saw my Lyman had some issues. This will be my boat on the river next summer. You'll be seeing us work on this hull in May. I'm looking forward to it.
We also spent time switching the barn over from goats to boats, installing a tamped crushed stone floor and organizing engines and parts that go along with them that were taking up way too much space in the boat shed and around the boat shed. Got some small block Chevy blocks here. There's a 327, a 350, a 283, another 283. Now I'm about to bring the 307 in here. See if we can get this in the barn. When I was down in Georgia in April, I saw an adjustable winch tower on a trailer and thought, man, that would be great for unbeknownst. I'd never seen one before. I welded one up here and it works fantastic. I was planning on showing you how I made the upholstery for Unbeknownst in part three of this video, but when I organized the files, I realized it was way too much and it needed to stand alone in its own video. Instead, let's look at one of the few issues we had with Unbeknownst this summer. Yeah, of course, when we had a boat full. What are you doing, Gary? Fixing the boat. Okay. Our, um, our guest camera person. Ah, good. Here we go. There you go. You only get the best from wooden boat services. WBS. WBS. <laughs> oh. I know what happened. Line it up. We need another boat. Ah, we'll get by with one. We'll take a boat hole someplace else. Something that's not important. We got a boat filling a hole at the bottom of the <laughs> I'm trying to figure where the other nut went to. Feel along that Oh, the other nut's up there in front. <laughs> <laughs> You're way ahead of me. Yes, there is. Cut this one off. Yeah, it's, it's still going, it's just not showing. Sure. It's safe. Okay. Then I'll keep holding it and show you what it is. <laughs> Lawyers are going to work out in the deposition. This is We won't even have to subpoena it, we got her right here. You know what happened? It would expand it, and then it tried out, and expanded and tried out, and it loosened up the nuts, and then the vibration it just walked off. Uh -huh. um, do you know exactly where it goes, or do we have to readjust? No, no, we're fine. Gary, run your fingers across this backboard, because I think I see something. No, back here. Like this silver nut and bolt. Back here? Yeah. yeah. On this side. Next side. Nope. Nope. Okay, that's what I thought. I'll it was. tell you where it probably is. It's probably underneath this piece of wood. Makes sense. You 
should you should film you and yeah, get her reaction. This <laughs> video. This you and Holly. Go to the video. <laughs> what do you think of the situation we're in, the predicament today? We have the no, perfect I had weather. The, I had the so many times that this is situation and that I just sit calm and then wait and then I know he gonna fit. So he always fits yeah. the same. This is normal. Yeah, this is normal. Situation yeah. normal? Yeah, my Gary is always a fix. It's Gary's normal. got everything under control. Yes. <laughs> Returning the tool. Are we done? Yep. Do you want me to make it quiet? I can do this. Get over. No, you weren't whistling either. That's Okay, see if you got the wheel back. Thank you, Gary, for fixing our ship. I'm all the way to starboard. Oh, well. we are towing soon to be seen at a reef near you covered with zebra mussels <laughs> 